Hello first graders, welcome to a new math lesson. We are in topic 5, lesson 4. Please get your paper ready and let's start. Two questions problems. All right, two question problems. In the previous lessons, we learned about how to answer one problem, one question and one problem. For example, you have four stickers, your sister give you two more. So I know that's easy. I have four. My I have four sticker, my sister gave me two more, so four plus two equals six. Easy. Or I will say there were six bears on a tree. Yeah, two flew away. Six on a tree, two flew away means subtraction. Use my subtraction minus sign. So six minus two equals four. So I know that this is with addition, I knew that this is with subtraction. Today, we will be having two questions for one problem. All right, so two different parts. They could be two addition, two subtraction, one addition, one subtraction. So let's see what we have here. All right, I'm going to read a problem and we're going to use the numbers that we will be reading now. All right, let's say for example, um, Okay, Fatima and Ali. All right, Fatima had six grapes. Okay, so Fatima had six grapes. Let me use my two, four, six. Okay, so Fatima had six grapes. I'm using my orange cubes as grapes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Fatima has six grapes. Awesome. And then Ali gave her five more. Ali gave Fatma five more. So one, two, three, four, five. So now Fatma had first six and now she has five more. So how many grapes does Fatma have now? Easy. First she has six and five more, right? So I'm gonna write this down. Six. She got more, right? So plus, I know when it's more means plus, plus them five. I know my answer, double the small number, double the lesser number, double five is 10, one more plus one more, 11. So now she has 11 grapes, one, two, three, four, five, six, and five. So she has 11 grapes, very good. My question is not over yet, so what happened? All right, now Fatma decide to give three grapes away to her brother. So Fatma said, oh, I'm gonna give you three my friends or my brother grapes to enjoy. So now Fatma has three less than what she had. So remember, she has now total 11 and she gave away three. So what she has in all is 11 and she give away, I'm giving away. So she has less, that's mean subtraction. So 11, take away three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now she give away three. So now she has eight. So we have two questions for one math problem. Right, let's do another one. And see this one. All right. Two, four, six. Let's say, for example, Mona have seven mark. Uh, cubes one two three four five six seven so she has seven cubes all right so she lost two so first she has seven right so let's write seven blue cubes so she was playing having fun so she lost two that's mean 
she have less what I'm gonna do minus taking away she has seven and now she give away or she lost or she broke or she used so minus the two that she lost them so it's subtraction seven I took away the two that she lost so how many I have now one two three four five seven take away two is five all right so she was not happy and she said oh I used to have seven now I have five I lost two so her friend said don't worry I have a lot I'm gonna share with you I'm gonna give you five more because I have a whole box full of cubes so I'm giving you five more remember she had five because she lost two so five and now she has more that's mean additional subtraction I have more extra as you see plus very good so what she had first the five and then nice friend share and give her five more so the five she had first the five blue cubes and then the five that her friends share with her and she gave it more so five plus five equals ten all right so if you don't have cubes you can use your box to draw so you can use the first one for number one and the second one for question number two all right let's turn the page and read our examples and practice the exercise read and understand Emilio had six toys to sell his brother had five toys to sell how many toys did they have to sell so Emilio have six all right and then his brother has five they're both gonna sell so I can use the answer to solve answer the first question to answer the second question so this is the first part all right how many toys did they have to sell so this is the first part as you see each question has two parts so you do the first part and we need to do it right in order to get the second part right so that was the first part let's read the second part then they then sold eight toys how many toys are left so there were six and five together and then after that they're both sold eight okay so I need to stop do the first part then I get the second part so first part Emilio has six and then his brother has five so six plus five I know my doubles plus one so six plus five is eleven So six plus five is 11, all right. And that's what they had, total 11. But then the second part of your question says, then they sold eight toys. So from the 11, they sold eight, they give away eight, they have eight less. So that's mean 11, the total they have, take away the eight they sold, that's what they have now. So how many left? How many toys are left there? three all right if you want to make sure double check your answer they sold eight and they have three left that's mean if I add three plus eight it should give me the total that they have eight plus three equals eleven all right let's use the blocks to explain it all right so Emilio have let's say six cubes so two four six all right his brother had five so two four one five so this is all what they have so how many both of them have together okay that's easy I'm gonna add this six plus five I can double the small number and add one more or do my double and add one so 10 plus 1, 11. So 
six, that's what Emilio has, plus five, that's what his brother have, total they have five, 11. Okay, so we do have 11 cubes together, All right? They sold away eight, eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's mean, take away, they don't have any more. 11, take away the eight. How many do you have left? Three. If you wanna make sure that your answer is right, you wanna just check. Three plus eight should give you the big number. This is the three, and this is the eight you took away. If I connect my cubes together, I should have 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So my answer is right. All right. Let's go and do the guided practice. Okay. Eight friends sit at the table. Two more friends join them. Right. So eight. Two more. So I'm using addition. So how many friends are at the table now? Eight plus two equals 10. That's easy. All right, my question is not over. I still have one more part. All right. Three friends leave the table. There were total 10. Three out of the total left. So how many friends are still at the table? All right, my total is 10. Take away three left. So take away three equals seven. If you wanna double check your answer, what to do? Add your two parts. Three plus seven equals 10. That's the total you had. So your question is right. All right, let's do number two. Rachel blows up 12 balloons. Very good. Two balloons pop. How many balloons are left? She blew up, so she blows up 12 balloons. Two balloons pop up. She doesn't have, she lost. So minus or plus, you don't have any more. Minus, very good. Minus two. So 12, take away two. You can use your counters. So 12, take away two is 10. All right, so now she has 10, not 12 anymore. This is what she has now. She blows up nine more. So she has 10, but then she blows up nine balloons. So she has more, she has extra. So how many balloons are there now? Remember, after she lost two or pops two, she has 10. So that's what she has now, so 10, but then Add nine more, so 10. I know adding means plus. So 10 plus nine equals 90. Very good. Okay. Do you understand? In this exercise above, why do you need to solve the first part before the second part? why remember we say this exercise why you need to solve why we need to solve the first part first when it said emilio had six toys and his brother has five and then how many toys did he have to sell so why we need to do this part first and then we answer the second part because in order to sell to to solve the second part i need to find out how many they have right so I can I cannot have I cannot find out how many they sold if I didn't know how many they have first. So that's why it was important to solve the first part and then I will do the second part. So to answer the second question depends on the first part of your question. So we can write this down. To answer the C 
activity, second part of the question. You need to solve the first part first. Because I don't have enough information if I go for the second part if I didn't solve this first part first and then I say then they sold eight toys sold eight toys from how many first they have so you have to have the, uh, all information so if I go for just the second part without solving the first part I won't be having enough information so you don't have enough information if you don't answer the first part because if I didn't know how many they have and I add what both boys have, both brothers have, I won't be able to know that, okay, so they have this amount, 11, and this, eight, so now I know how many they have. All right? Very good. Okay, let's go for page 177 and we're doing number three. Write number sentence to solve both parts. Okay, nine children are hiking on a trail. Four adults go to the, them. So, how many people are hiking in all? So, nine and four join them. All right, that's easy. Nine, four more means plus. So, four, nine plus four equals 13. All right, cool. Now, seven more adults join the hikers. Now, how many hikers are there? Total were 13. Seven more join, that's mean plus extra. So 13 plus seven. Total 20. You can use anything, you can use your cubes, counters, crayons, you can draw to use your addition. So nine, okay, I'm gonna circle, I'm gonna use circles, so nine children are hiking. Okay, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four adults go with them, so I have more extra, four, so one, two, three, four. This is my first part. Okay, what was the answer? 13. Now, seven more join the 17, the 13. So if I have here 13, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and seven more, that's mean plus, and I add seven more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's how I answer to get my 20. Remember what I told you, this exercise or this uh, lesson about two problem, two question in your problem. So they could be both or addition or subtraction or one addition, one subtraction or first subtraction and then one addition. So we did a couple of exercises here. You have addition first, then the second part was subtraction. Number two was subtraction first and then you need to do addition. So you to read, understand, and then it will be easy for you to find out what you need to do. Okay, 12 birds sit on a roof. Five of the birds fly away. So I have 12, five fly away. That means left, minus, less. 12, like if I have it with the 
square so I'm gonna draw 12 square which is like 12 birds One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So twelve birds. Five flew away. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we drew from the beginning thirteen instead of twelve. So twelve. Take away five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. All right. So, five more birds fly away. Oh, so out of my seven, that's what I, I see now on a, on a tree or on a, or on a roof. Seven. Five more birds fly away. So, there were seven now. So, one, two, three, four five six seven right five flew away one two three four five so i have two black so this is what i have now right seven five minus five five are gone i'm less than five and my answer is two Turn the page and do the last page 178. All right, solve the problems. Three children are playing hopscotch. Four more children join them. So three were playing, having fun, and then four join them. So extra, right? So three plus four, that's easy. 3 plus 4 equals, I can do my doubles plus 1, 7, all right. Two children leave and go home, my total is 7, two more left, all right. That's mean 7 minus 2, right? Total was 7, 2 left. So seven, this is what I have now, minus two, one, two, three, four, five. So how many children left now? Five children. Okay, let's do number six together. Mary found eight shells and gave three of them away. How many shells does Mary have? All right, so she had eight oh let me get eight two four six and two more eight so she found eight shells here's my eight shells that mary found she gave away three one two three all right so how many shells does mary have now i know eight i took away three equals one two three four five equals five Eight. She gave away three. I give away. So I need to subtract. So eight take away three equals five. All right. So now I know how many she has now. Mary has five shells. Mary then found five more shells. She had five, but she found five more. Mary then found five more shells. How many shells does she have now? Okay, so she had five after she lost three. Then she found five more. That's mean five plus five equals ten, right? So I need to do this first because I have to find the right answer here. All right. Is it eight plus three first? No, she lost three actually. So I'm not gonna continue looking at here. Is eight plus three 11 and then 11 take away five? Nope. 
this is not the one okay eight take away three that was the first part yes i remember she had eight and then she lost three so she had five okay this is the first part and then the second part that she found five more so she get five more which is five plus five and this is my second part five plus five yes this is the right answer she had eight then she lost three so she had five but after that she found five more that's mean five plus five so this is the right choice all right number seven draw pictures that show a two question problem for four plus two equals six then six minus three equals three all right so you need to write a story you can use any of these ideas here but this is the numbers that you're going to use so you can say for example that mary had four uh, stickers or four lollipops and then her mom gave her more so you have four plus two equals six and then after that you can say Mary, if you decided lollipop, so Mary ate three. So she had six, but then she ate three, means less. She has less now. She ate. So six take away three equals three. Or you can do any of you, whatever you like, a sentence, you make it up. But these are the numbers that you need to use. And the first one has to be an addition, so more. Like if, as I said, someone has more or found more or bought more and then after that you lose so giving away or balloons pop or birds flew away or giving away with, to your brother okay so today our uh, lesson was really good two questions for problems and then we need to solve the first part in order to solve the second part and they don't have to always start with addition and then subtraction no we saw here for question number one start with addition and then with subtraction the second one was start with subtraction and then we add and then we also saw some examples that they're both are addition or they're both parts were subtraction so either or you need to read understand solve the first part first then solve the second part all right first graders that's it for today thank you bye